Axa Energy is scouting for opportunities in large-scale electricity production. The company forwarded an expression of interest to Mines and Energy Ministry, hoping to put up a power plant if government agrees to the project. The former Ghanaian diplomat, now businessman, says the company further intends to do this at no cost to government, except under condition that the two parties sign a power purchase agreement. There's a win-win situation in here uh, because the investment program in this country, you know, uh, certainly indicates that uh, it encourages private sector, you know, uh, increase in private sector participation. And the private sector also means that uh, investment from outside, foreign direct investment coming into the country. As long as those, that foreign direct investment is not coming to plunder. The company is already operating in Africa with power plants in Ghana and has also been scouting in countries such as Mozambique and Madagascar as SADC is facing a severe energy crisis hindering its mass industrialization projects. But how would Namibia benefit directly from such a deal? Eventually for Namibia to become a net exporter of electricity to viable places like Zimbabwe, viable places especially like Zambia and even to South Africa. This is among the many offers government has received for consideration, but its emphasis remains that partnerships with investors be on equal terms. If somebody wants to come with their own money, will say that the problem of build, operate and transfer, that's one thing we're looking at. Here is to build, operate and recoup kind of the income or to sell to us. We are using, we are paying a lot of money to buy oil or mm -hmm. electricity from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. now if the government, mm -hmm. Namco, enters into a payment, mm -hmm. and they will buy from that, that solution. So that's uh, more than a win-win situation. It sounds good, but uh, things that sound good don't always materialize yeah. that I have learned by. So let's see. The delegation also met Mines and Energy Minister Obed Ganjode, who presented the National Integrated Resource Plan before any concrete proposals could be agreed on. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.